So I made a video before for, you know, young people, kids, children, and teenagers about lucid dreaming, right? And the title was something like, Lucid Dreaming is Easier If You're Younger. I can't remember the exact title. Uh, it did pretty well, and a lot of people had some questions, so I thought I'd make this to follow up with that video. So lucid dreaming for teenagers, or really anyone below the age of 18, it's so much easier for you than it is for adults and pretty much everyone else. Um, and the reason for that is that usually your sleep cycle, like I said in the first video, your sleep cycles are much more predictable and your the timing of your REM sleep is a lot more stable compared to when you get older, it kind of goes all over the place. On top of that, your memory is usually pretty good unless you're kind of frying your brain with lots of um, like really, really intense video games or things that will det detract from your memory and your cognitive function. And you usually have more time and energy to dedicate to practicing things like lucid dreaming. Now, before you, you know, invade the comments section and start saying like, oh, but I have school, I have things to study for, I don't have time. I get that. But at the same time, you compared to the average adult who has like a nine to five job, they have a long commute either side, they have, you know, things going on in their personal life, they have to do all kinds of crazy stuff. Compared to that, you do have more time, especially on the weekends and holidays. Uh, so really a holiday, let's say half term, summer holidays, whatever, that's your ideal window to master lucid dreaming because you don't have anything else to, do. I mean, most, most of you at least don't have anything else taking up your time. You also don't need to be going and, and doing things to get money, uh, or at least not as much. You don't have as many responsibilities usually, you don't have as many bills um, or expenses. So you're in a really good place if you're 18 or under to actually master lucid dreaming because of all of those things. Now, here's the thing, right? And here's the problem that most of you at least will be having. You might have time and money and you know energy and resources to dedicate to lucid dreaming. However, you're probably deciding to make a few choices, like you're deciding to stay up later than you should be. You're deciding to watch films and, and watch screens until like the early hours of the morning. You might even be watching this in the middle of the night, I don't know. You're also probably deciding to not track your sleep. And this is something that I didn't really discover until I was about 24, 25, is the idea of actually being able to track your sleep and to know exactly when your sleep cycles are happening, when your REM sleep happens, what things affect your sleep in different ways and how you can improve it. I didn't realize, I didn't discover this whole new world of sleep tracking until I was 24. Before then, I was just kind of guessing. And definitely, you know, at the ages of 18 and, and under, I was guessing. I didn't have a clue what was going on in my sleep. I didn't know how much REM sleep I was getting every night. I didn't know how much deep sleep I was getting. I had no idea about the timings. I had no idea what things were like contributing to that. And I certainly paid no attention to actually trying to optimize those sleep cycles, to trying to um, increase my percentage of deep sleep and REM sleep and to actually you know, perfectly align that up with lucid dreaming and to time my alarms and reminders for when REM sleep was happening. I didn't do any of that. If I could go back in time, I would do that every single day. I would be tracking my sleep with something like an Apple Watch, a Fitbit or an Aura Ring. And the Aura Ring is actually what I use now. It's actually on charge over there. Really, really good piece of equipment. It tells you exactly when your REM sleep happens, how long it lasts, what things affect it. Uh, and if you're a data nerd like I am, you can actually, once you have a few weeks of data on the Aura Ring, it will actually tell you different correlations. So it will say, um, it will show you a graph and show you a correlation efficient. If you know what that means, then you're pretty smart for a, you know, a young person. It will show you a correlation efficient and it will show you like, the later you go to bed, the worse your REM sleep, or the, la the later you go to bed, the, the worse your sleep score overall. And it tells you all kinds of things like sleep latency, your different stages, the things that affect it, your heart rate variability, your readiness, your blood pressure. All of these things can be tracked by this aura ring. And like I said, if you're 18 or younger, your sleep cycles are super predictable. So if you just know, if you just track your sleep for even a week or two, you'll know exactly when you're having your dreams down to like a five to 10 minute um, window, right? So once you know that, you can just set an alarm to go off exactly then um, and then do the wake back to bed technique, become lucid. It's gonna be almost guaranteed. So if you are watching this and you're thinking, I wanna lucid dream, but I don't know how, realize firstly that you have it easier than most other people, okay? You have more time, you usually have less responsibility, less stress, your memory is often better, and your sleep cycles are super predictable. 
use that to your advantage and just do what I wish I could have done 10 years ago and track your sleep now. Just get like something, it doesn't even have to be an aura ring. An aura ring is like 300 bucks, I think. Quite expensive for, for a kid, for a young person. If you can afford it, I would highly recommend it. And I'm not, I'm not like affiliated with them in, in any way. I just, I use it personally. If you can't afford that, get something really cheap. Like you can even download an app on your phone, I think, that will give you some idea. It won't be super accurate, but it will give you some idea based on like microphone input and, and accelerometer movement. It will give you some idea about when your sleep cycles and, and your REM sleep is, is happening. Do that and then just see what happens. I guarantee you'll be amazed at how predictable your dreams are. And if you do wanna take it further, I do have a 26 minute mega video on YouTube here about how to lose a dream, how to make it more likely, and how to optimize every single area of your life. This is a free video, of course, it's on YouTube. You can find that in the description or just go to my channel. Um, and if you wanna take it one step further than that, then I do actually have a course called the Lucid Breakthrough course, which tells you everything you need to know in much more detail. <laughs> so it really, like walks you step by step through everything that you would possibly need to know to lucid dream and master the idea of lucid dreaming. It goes into some pretty advanced stuff. It's not for everyone. And my guess is most of you just want to dream about anime, your crush or flying around like a superhero. So for those purposes, you don't really need to get a course. You can learn that for free. It's very simple, very easy to do. Hopefully if you watch this video and you watch the other video, the 26 minute one, you'll be in a pretty good place. You should be able to lucid dream reliably. So I'd love to hear in the comments what you would love to do in your next lucid dream. Leave a comment below and I'll see you next time.